Well, a family in Anson has been dealing with a bit of a bee issue inside their home. The hive in their attic growing unchecked for the last 10 years. KTAB's Noah McKinney tells us how their prayers were answered by an unlikely source. A couple bees at your picnic might make you want to pack up and go home. But for Isabel Lozano of Anson and her family, home hasn't exactly been the safe haven you'd hope for. Well, we had a beehive in the attic. We've had it for years and we couldn't get nobody to help us. Ten years, in fact. And while they had noticed a few bees in 2013, they knew they really had a problem when they began to find honey dripping down their walls. It got bad. It got where well, we couldn't even use the living room anymore. And it started leaking through my ceiling fans and the ceiling fell in. They were coming in through the vents. We have to close up all the vents. With their living room uninhabitable and no one able to come to their aid, the final straw came when the attacks began about a year ago. It was my husband and one of my nephews and they got pretty bad. One of my brother-in-laws got attacked and was sent to Hendrix. The nurses at the hospital said that he got stung over 400 times. They needed a miracle and that's just what they found in the form of a youth pastor with a bee allergy and a part-time gig. I'm slightly allergic. I have to take a Benadryl after every, every time and I try not to get stung but Inevitably, if they're aggressive, uh, I do get stung pretty often. Victor Rosenhoff is a co-owner of Abilene Beekeepers. He and his friend Shane Sargent offering to remove the hive and keep the honey. It just fascinated me because it's been in our house for 10 years. When I saw the living room picture, I was like, oh, they their living room is abandoned. They cannot go into their living room at all. While they knew it would be a big task, nothing could have prepared him for what they found in that attic. I was mesmerized. I was like, wow, this is a, a large hive. We got our work cut out for us. It took us about four hours out there. Removing 250 pounds of beehive. I've gotten a couple hundred pound hives before, but I mean, man, the weight of this one and how compact it was. At the end of the day, Rosenhoff went home with 90 pounds of honey alone. More than enough payment, he says, to give a family peace of mind. We finally found help. It's why I got into it. Like, I want to I want to help whoever I can. And while there's still some cleanup to be done, the hard work is behind them. Just remodeling and go back to normal and get my living room back. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Noel McKinney. What amazing video. Gee whiz. And to have that in your attic. Thank you, Noah. Rosenhoff says they offered to stay and help with the cleanup and rebuilding, but Lozano simply thanked them for their work and set out to finish the rest with her family. Excited, she says, to finally feel at ease again in their home.